neighbors, welcome back. We're going to use our Korean clay pot, that tupegi. We're going to throw some rice in there, some bacon, of course, then some peas, as well as a few other things, and then just steam everything together. And the best part about it is it only takes about 15 minutes. If you use a rice cooker, you put that thing on in the morning, there's no way. You ain't going to eat. You're going to already be off to work. So this breakfast idea, it's a little bit different. This rice steam pot, uh, give it a try. Alright, for our game today, this is the lineup. Of course, you can switch up the players depending on how you feel. The name of this game today is Speed. So if it's inconvenient to you, don't do it. I'm using frozen green beans and frozen peas. Why? Because the name of the game is Speed. And then, of course, we need some bacon. I'm going to do two strips. If you're on a diet, of course, just one. We're going to chop this up. The sweet potato, I think we need like five or six thin slices. Don't make them too thick or else they're not going to steam all the way through. Let's peel the baby off. Our shiitake mushroom, thin slices. We got one pile there, similar sized, similar size, maybe a little bit bigger on the bacon. <laughs> All right, and now we have our tupegi. I know a lot of you guys have bought this from us. Uh, typically, we use this for stews like tenjang chuge, but you can also steam rice in this. And the beauty about this, we can steam that rice within 15 minutes. That's because all the heat gets trapped. It starts, yep, and then it cooks. My friends, let's measure one full cup. We're going to give this a quick wash. All right. This just makes sure any dirt or any leftover stuff is uh, not going into our stomachs. Give a little massage with your hands and try to get as much rice. You can't get every one of them. Sometimes there's one or two that falls out. Bloop, bloop. And in our last Korean breakfast rice bowl, I didn't uh, cook the bacon first and people were killing me. I mean, just so many brutal comments. So today, uh, I'll ease your pain and uh, we'll fry this up first, all right? If it was up to me and I'm out of time, I just steam it. It's okay. I'm Korean. Tukbegi on a medium heat. We're gonna let this crisp up just a little bit. All right, guys, we don't want the tukbegi to get too hot. So once they start to get a little bit of a crisp, I'm gonna throw in our green beans as well. I'm gonna turn off the heat. There's a lot of heat in this pot right now. And then from there, I'm gonna add in our rice. And then we always use a one-to-one -one ratio of water. A few mixes and that's gonna to combine together. Then like bibimbap, our sweet potatoes to one side, our shiitake mushrooms to the other side, and then my favorite, those peas. All right, simple as that. Now let's put this on a high heat, put the lid on, and now we're gonna wait until we see a geyser coming out. You see a little bit, it's not ready yet. Once you see that whale, <whistles> all right, and there she goes. From here, count down three minutes. We want three minutes on a high heat. And the cooking tip during those three minutes, if you see that the pot starts spilling over and you see liquid falling out, just reduce it to a medium or a medium high heat, all right, so it doesn't do that anymore. All right, that's time. I want you to reduce this to a to a baby flame. No, 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 an infant flame, okay? Perfect, okay? And then set a timer for 10 minutes on low heat. Depending on the size of your tukbegi, the timing might be a little bit different, might be plus or minus a few minutes. Uh, so play with it. And if you don't have a tukbegi, that's fine. Just work with any thick bottom pot. We want something that could hold in heat and, and, and just cook this at a high temperature. For example, this would work too, but the only thing is I would have to make so much rice so that's why I'm using this. All right, that was 10 minutes. Put this to the side. Give it around two minutes to continue steaming. And this is when that rice turns really fluffy. Uh, beautiful. Now, let's take a look. Oh my goodness. Take a look. We have the sliced sweet potatoes, the shiitake mushrooms, the green beans, and then your peas, and then of course your little bacon pieces snuggled away. And my favorite part, we gotta give it a little mix. Let's see how it came out. Oh, just beautiful. We wanna get all of the pieces mixed in. This is gonna be good for two people. So I'm gonna just take this out, put it in our rice bowl here. 
Wow, let me just give this a bite and see if this needs any extra seasoning. Oh my gosh, that sweet potato. Oh, this is heavenly. Guys, you can put a little drops of soy sauce if you want. I think it tastes so beautiful. It's humble. And you can taste each of the ingredients just in that fluffy rice, amazing. All I need is just a beautifully fried egg and some kimchi guys and that's it. And this my friends is what we call a hit recipe. <laughs> By the way guys, for this recipe you want to use short grain rice, aka sushi rice, something that gets sticky, you don't want to use the long grain one. But other than that, feel free to switch up any of the veggies, uh, except for the sweet potatoes, you got to add those. Amazing. Um, I'm simply just uh, mind blown.